Hi, I'm Ken Braddock and uh, I'm very involved in the media in equestrian sports and uh, one of my ventures is a website called dressagenews.com. I get four million hits a month and uh, one of the things that uh, we've become pretty involved with uh, in the uh, uh, actually for pretty much the last year ever since Courtney's accident uh, has been um, helmets uh, and if you can imagine there were uh, at the end of 2010 uh, I ran on my website the top 10 pictures of 2010 I traveled the world to a dozen horse shows around the world and maybe a half dozen or so in the United States and uh, among those two pictures actually there were three that were iconic about helmets Stephen Peters, the first American rider to win two individual medals in a world championship in history. At the medal ceremony, riding the victory gallop with a safety helmet. The, uh, the only dressage rider in the entire World Equestrian Games dressage competition wearing a safety helmet. Huge, and he did it to make a point. And it was that, that image stands for what is important. Second image, also from the World Equestrian Games, was of Spanish rider on a horse called Fuego 12. He was almost unseated. And I have this picture of him almost coming off the horse. Terrific horse, terrific ride, probably the crowd favorite. And he's not wearing a helmet, and, I, and it's, he, he's not even wearing a hat. And, it's, and he's bald, and it's, you can just imagine if he had hit the ground. And all I could do was think of that while I'm looking at this picture. The third image is one that touches all of us in the entire equestrian community, certainly those of us in dressage and those of us who have followed Courtney King's career, of Courtney being helped at the WEG selection trials in Gladstone, New Jersey by her husband with his arm around her. And that image of one of the world's truly great athletic equestrians, young, so full of talent, so full of life, and has gone through what she has gone through. Nothing needs more needs to be said about helmets. No, and that's why we're all here today. And, and sadly, Courtney couldn't be here today. Exactly. was supposed to be here exactly. today. Exactly, and if Courtney, just Courtney's presence, she is so full of life and so full of energy and love of life that it is it, to just not be here on for an an, an incident uh, sorry an event that is so critical in her life. Yeah, but she'd be proud. I think um, you know it's been an amazing day. You mentioned Lauren Samis. She was up there t today with. Uh, Olympic medalist B.Z. Madden with Anne Kosinski with representatives from the polo world from the racing world uh, we've had Alison Springer who's been uh, you know an amazing inspiration to people wearing helmets and, and said you know how pro and eventing have um, led the way and it's been a terrific day so I think she'll be proud and you're here also to say representing Stephen Peters who wanted to be here and so much so that it was important it wasn't just a phone call from Stefan to say that, look he uh, the reason he wasn't here um, was because he's only here for two days and he's teaching Courtney's assistant um, and uh, so that's you know yeah. I mean in a way it's it's reflective of sort of what this is all about yeah. the reason he couldn't be here is because Courtney couldn't be teaching her assistant and Stefan is here and obviously makes the commitment to do so and uh, and I think that sort of says it all and I think the, the but the, the perhaps um, you know, I mean the image of Stefan riding with a medal around his neck and riding that victory gallop after the Grand Prix freestyle the World Equestrian Games World Championships and wearing a helmet with the US flag on it I mean just yeah. an iconic moment um, and doing it to make the point which is but he didn't have to say any more than just do it but he did it because it was that important to him every other rider in the dressage competition at the world equestrian games competed with top hats thank you very much ken